Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Matt Davenport. And I'm Marlee Zerby. It was 25 years ago today that nine-year-old Stephanie Crane disappeared from the small town of Chalice, Idaho. The Custer County Sheriff's Office, along with Search and Rescue and the Volunteer Fire Department, looked for Stephanie into the early morning hours. The next day, over 300 people, along with tracking dogs, searched for Stephanie. Crane's case was featured on America's Most Wanted and most recently on the Discovery series Disappeared on the Investigation Discovery Channel. When Stephanie disappeared, she was 4 foot 2, 65 to 85 pounds. What we're going to show you now is a report from KPVI that aired in 1993 about the possible suspects in the case. The Idaho Bureau of Investigation has told Newswatch 6 that Stephanie Crane's disappearance may be related to problems inside her immediate family. Her family existence wasn't ideal, let's put it that way. IBI says that one-time suspect Robert Paul Crane, Stephanie's great uncle, has an alibi that seems to be holding up. However, they add other family members may be involved. It's not out of the realm of possibility that somebody in the family has, has lent a helping hand to Stephanie. And then when the investigation blew up so large and big, they got scared and panicked. Meanwhile, other leads continue to come in, including sightings of the Chalice girl missing since October 11th. One of them was at a roller skating rink uh, out of state. I called up to check on that, and he says, well, he's seen her twice. He's pretty sure it looks just like her, but uh, nothing that we can follow up on. The news out of Petaluma, California, is also promising. Authorities there have arrested a suspect in the knife point abduction of 12-year-old Polly Class. Richard Allen Davis has a history of criminal activity, including kidnapping. IBI is preparing a line of questioning for Davis, specifically... ...where he was on October the 11th, and uh, who can justify or help support his uh, location. IBI confirms that generally, the life expectancy for a victim of a stranger abduction is very short. That was a news report aired in 1993. Now, no charges were ever filed against her granduncle, Robert Paul Crane, in the relation to the disappearance of Stephanie. There was another suspect, Keith Glenn Hescock. He was a suspect in another missing persons case, Amber Hoops, as well it was in a hunt. He was in a hunting in Chalice area when Crane disappeared and his truck was seen in the area. Hescock died in a confrontation with police in 2002 after he shot a police officer, a police dog, and then turned the gun on himself. Now this is an age progressed photo of what Stephanie Crane would look like at the age of 32. Although 25 years have passed, the Custer County Commissioners have approved a $50,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person responsible for her disappearance. If you have any information that can help in Stephanie's case, you are urged to contact the Custer County Sheriff's Office at 208-879-2232 or the tip line at 208-879-5372. Anonymous tips can also be reported to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children at 1-800-843-5678.